Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching Channel Hot Monkey and in this video I'm going to show you how you can record your screen on your Android device without having to root it completely free. Now we're going to be doing this using an app called Mobizen. First off I'm going to show you which particular version of the app you should download from the Play Store. Then we're going to be going over some basic settings for video capture. Then we're actually going to see how you can record your screen. And after that, we're going to go through some of the upsides and the downsides to this application. So stay tuned. So when you go to Google Play and do a search for Mobizen, you'll actually get three results. The third one on the list right here is Mobizen Mirroring for Samsung. And that's an app that we're not going to be looking into. We're interested in the top ones, this first one and the second one. Now, if you're using a Samsung device like I am in this video, then you want to go for the Mobizen for Samsung app because the ordinary version won't function properly on your phone. If you're not using a Samsung device, then go for the ordinary Mobizen application. Since this is a Samsung device, I'm going to install Mobizen for Samsung. So once the app is installed, you should get a icon on your home screen. And the first time you open it, you should be greeted with a welcome now in previous versions of this app, you would normally have to go through a free registration in order to be able to use the options that the app has. Luckily in this version, you don't have to go through that. You simply have to go through the quick tutorial, which starts after you tap on welcome. So the first time you run it, it will start adjusting for best performance. And this is something that will only happen the first time you start this app. Now it takes you through a quick tutorial, tap the air circle to start recording and capturing. It tells you it has three basic buttons, the record button, the circle menu, and the capture button. We're gonna tap anywhere just to continue. And in order to get rid of the air circle, this little thing right here, you simply press and hold it and drag it down to the X. Now, before we actually start recording, we wanna go through the settings. So we'll do that by tapping on the MOBAs and air circle, and then we're gonna tap on the middle button right here, which is for settings. Video settings are enabled, so we're gonna just push this up and then we're going to tap on the little gear icon in order to open up the settings. First off, we want to go through the video settings. If we tap here, then we can see that we can set the resolution and the quality ranges all the way from 240p up to 1080p full HD. So I'm going to go with the highest quality. Beneath that, you have quality options that range from 0.5M all the way to 12.0M. So obviously the higher you go here, the better quality you're going to get, but you can expect bigger file sizes. I'm going to leave it at 8.0M. And finally, in the video settings, you can adjust the frames per second. You can leave it at auto, which is selected by default, or you can choose anything from 5 frames per second all the way to 60 frames per second. So I'm going to go with the highest option because I want the app to actually capture all the transitions and effects that my phone makes while I scroll through different settings and options. Back to the main settings screen. Beneath video settings, we have the record audio option, which is turned on by default. If you want to turn it off, simply do it right here. I'm going to leave that at on. Moving on to the air circle option. Now this is something you might want to pay attention because here you adjust the settings of the air circle that will be displayed on screen. So that's this little thing right here that we can drag around. So the thing with this application is that when you record, it actually captures this air circle. Luckily, in this settings page, you can adjust the transparency of the air circle on this little transparency meter right here. If it's all the way to the right, then it's fully visible. If you put it to the minimum, then you'll get this little circle thing right here, but we don't want that because we don't want this to show in our video. So from my experience, I found that the best thing to do is actually adjust the transparency level just a bit over the minimum. Now it might take a few tries, but eventually you'll get it. The thing is that the air circle right now is not completely invisible, but it's actually undetectable to the human eye. So this is a setting for the air circle that I go with. Back to the main settings page, after the air circle option, you have an option to use your front camera. Right now, by default, it's disabled, but if you want to go and record your front camera, then you can turn this option on. As you can see down here, it shows you a little box with the footage that your front camera is capturing. If you tap on it, then you can press and hold to position it wherever you want. You can actually adjust the size of the box. And if you don't like it, you can simply tap on the X. I'm going to turn this off. 
Mobizen actually has a watermark on screen, so by default every video that you capture has a watermark. I don't want that, so I'm going to turn it off right here. Let's go back to the main settings page. It actually has a countdown option, so every time you press the record button, it gives you a little countdown sequence, and you can go from 10 seconds to 3 seconds, or you can disable the countdown option. I'm going to leave it at 3 seconds. The touch gesture option, if enabled, shows little touch gestures on screen, but I don't want that, so I'm going to turn it off. And finally, recording time. Mobizen displays the record time somewhere on screen, and you could position it at the bottom left corner, top right corner, top left corner, inside of an air circle, or you can simply select don't show. So that's what I'm going to do. Now Mobizen has some other options like the editor icon. The program comes with its little own video editor, but we're not going to go through this. We're going to stop it at these basic settings for video capture. So now that we're done with the settings, we're going to go back to our home screen, tap on the Mobizen air circle, and in order to start the recording, we're simply going to tap on the record button. Here we have our countdown, and here we go. Now, in order to stop the recording, usually you would press the Mobizen air circle, but since we practically can't see it because we lowered the transparency, we're going to stop the video this way. Once you're done, it greets you with this screen where you can watch your video, edit it using the inbuilt video editor that Mobizen comes with, or you can delete the video. Your videos will also be stored in your phone's gallery. So let's take a look at some footage that I recorded on my phone using Mobizen. And after that, we're going to mention some of the upsides and downsides of this application. Now like most apps, this one has some good things and some bad things to it, so in this section we're going to go over them. First off, the good. The best thing is that this app is completely free and you don't have to root your device in order to use it. It's fairly easy to use and records very very decent video quality. Now as for the cons, the first one that I would mention is the fact that this application is not compatible with all devices, so if you have an older device, you might have some trouble trying to run it. Another problem that I found with this app is that sometimes the settings that you enter don't apply. For example, if you watched my video, you'll remember how I disabled the touch gesture options. But nevertheless, the touch gestures were there afterwards. So sometimes, you'll need to enter the settings a few times. From my own experience, if it doesn't apply the first time, the next time you enter those settings, they're most likely to work. And finally, I need to mention that the application doesn't record very high quality audio, especially the audio that is recorded from your microphone. So if you're recording gameplay with commentary or certain tutorials like I am, you might want to record your audio separately on a microphone that is connected to your computer and then later on synchronize the audio recorded with a separate microphone with the video you recorded on your device. So I really do hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, why not leave a like and share the video with your friends. For more similar content in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching and stay strong.